Okay, so let's talk about the latest episode of Atlanta, which was the reparations episode. So this episode pretty much just diverts away from what we're seeing in the main storyline. Didn't see this coming. I really thought they were going to do one episode, but apparently now it's episode four. But I still very much so think that they should definitely do an anthology series. Felt very much so like a Twilight Zone type vibe with these latest episodes. And I think Donald Glover has talked about doing sort of these like tales as well throughout so i can expect maybe one more we'll see that's kind of like diverting from the main storyline but still has some sort of like attachment to it as well and we'll definitely talk about that once we wrap up the season as well the first episode i think still is the best episode out of them all just the storytelling writing and everything but definitely this one has a lot of conversation starters i feel and i think that's one of the things that donald glover wants to do as well is get these conversations started especially this one which deals with reparations so if you don't know reparations is something that has been talked about especially due to all of the trauma that slavery caused as well and it's not just with slavery it continues on as well we'll talk about that more as well at the end of the video closer to the end but we'll wrap up well let's recap this episode so many people are saying this was the role that ryan goslin was supposed to play with the white guy but of course scheduling conflicts as we heard he wasn't able to get it done but we do have the guy from the hangover i believe he's from the hangover hopefully i'm getting that right so this episode pretty much we follow this guy and we hear about a big case that has happened where a big investor into tesla recently lost a court case with a man who says that they owned well his family owned a lot of his ancestors as well during slavery and so this man has now just won a lawsuit which entitles him to a ton of money and eventually all of this leads to like a waterfall effect snowball effect i, I which one is it i get really lost when i t do these things but it pretty much just starts to build it pretty much just starts building up and now a lot of white people owe a lot of money to a lot of black people due to their ancestors being enslaved by their ancestors so this man marshall pretty much is in the middle of it all and he at first when he heard about the tesla guy paying and all of that he said that who cares guy's got a lot of money all of this to another co-worker and i thought that that really represented um a big thing that happens as well so we'll talk more about that as well so one day he is driving his uh, kid back to their mom's house as he and the mother are separated and the kid asks if they're racist and she pretty much says that she heard a kid call her that as well and he tries to sort of like talk about it but you can tell that this is something he's never really talked about with his kid as well with race and everything in america and i think it really does um reflect what we see a lot happen in today's society as well and i mean a big topic that we've heard as well in today's media and everything being brought up as some sort of big man is critical race theory which of course it's not what they make it seem in the media is some big bad boogeyman of sorts yeah well we'll talk more let's keep recapping this episode so marshall has this whole um thing he starts talking to his daughter about how they were actually slaves as well their ancestors and of course this happened way way before as well and they were currently talking about the slavery happening in america so it's just something we see a lot where they try to justify well this happened as well and you know but it's like no no we're talking about this right now so uh, i really do like that the show did uh, show that uh, how they try to divert attention to something else entirely but it's like okay but let's resolve this problem that's more present and really has bigger implications even in today's society that we see still affecting people with ancestors linked back to slavery here in america of course so later that night the man actually gets a visit from a woman who says that that his ancestors actually owned one of her ancestors and now she wants to be paid as well and the daughter's home and everything so it kind of like goes back to what we heard about him talking to his daughter about how their ancestors at some point way before also were slaves as well so throughout the episode now he's just trying to avoid her and trying to figure out what to do eventually he goes to a hotel to try and get away from it all where he meets a man as well who owes a ton of money and the man gives them a little talk about how they are now free as white men off of this curse that they've been trying to avoid for so long and now they pretty much are free because it's all out there it's all being like like faced head on and all that 
he also then says that black people can never escape from that because the system is still there pretty much and it has never been fixed or anything like that and it always comes back to that analogy where they say that slavery and everything in america that has happened with that is sort of like a knife wound that has just been pulled but the wound is still there and it's bleeding and it's still bleeding today but nothing has been done to try and fix that or anything to heal and i think that was a very great speech that he gave the man eventually does um unalive himself that's the word we have to use with youtube here but we do see that the man who owes reparations marshall who we know from the beginning eventually by the end of the episode he is now paying that back getting another job as a waiter getting 15 percent off of his paycheck in order to go to pay the woman that he owes because of what his ancestors have done so pretty much like i said i think that this episode really tackles this situation that we've heard a lot of talks about over the years as well and we really haven't seen much of it be done with reparations we are hearing some um, chatter in california about them starting this up right now but nationwide we really haven't heard much of anything like this at all to make any of this wound be healed and definitely I think that this um, episode really like covers as well how we hear a ton about how it was so long ago but but the system however recently even now it still is there as well affecting and the trauma from that is still there as well we see it with segregation over the years as well we saw it redlining you see it also with lynchings that took place as well well after slavery and it's just something that it's like yeah the slavery happened hundreds of years ago but the system was still there and it's still pretty much bringing down I think Marshall as well from the beginning of the episode we see him as sort of like what we see a lot as well is fake allies people who are very much so performative but when it comes down to doing real action and sacrificing in order to bring true equality into uh, this nation they pretty much are like well well I'm backing out right here you know so I think that that was a great way to show that as well, that we see a lot with Marshall and the conversation he had with his other white coworker really shows how sometimes it is performative in order to look better opposed to another white person as well. And not really due to them caring about the whole um, issues that we have at hand. It's just more of a superiority thing for them. And I think it just shows that even though we could have these reparations and everything, generational wealth is still a thing. So if the reparations and all that really aren't going to the true um, people that actually benefited off of everything, does that still change things or not? So I guess it is a great conversation starter that Atlanta has started about what could possibly be a scenario where this happens as well. And as I said, Donald Glover needs to do an anthology series. Like, I do enjoy having these social issues in the um, episodes of Atlanta with our main characters, but I think these one off episodes as well. Well, I don't think they're like just one off to be one off. I think they ultimately fit into the overall theme of this season. But I think just doing a show like this would be something I do. I would love to see, especially um, the way he has described them. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on this episode. What do you think? What do you think about everything that happened? As I said, I think that this is just a sort of like idea of what it could possibly be and look like as well, as well as showing just exactly people who are out there talking about equality and justice and all of that what do they do when it actually starts to sort of happen how do they feel about it and i think marshall is a great example of that where he was pretty much so like on the fence defensive about everything and all of that but then he gets a talk with the other man and he realizes that the strap yourself up from the bootstraps mentality and really all that when people like them also got a ton of help throughout that was omitted from people who weren't white at the time and they actually didn't benefit from anything that the others were given as well during these times when especially during the baby boomer era and all of that so so much to talk about but uh definitely keep checking out we're going to check out the episode this week episode five i'm going to try and get it out quicker than i did these two episode three and four which came out today just had a lot of stuff going on last week and then had a lot of videos i was trying to upload and then just completely like 
yeah, I'm going to try and get him out quicker. So definitely stay tuned for that. But for more episodes and my thoughts on everything, definitely make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you also give us a thumbs up. Comment below your thoughts and opinions. We're here to have a discussion. And I'm very open to learning more if I missed anything in the episode as well. So comment it below. As always, that's going to do it for me. My camera, I think, has stopped. But as always, stay safe, stay positive.